What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video today. We're going to be starting our four part series of Manchester City loan reports for the 2021-2022 season. But before I crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then do subscribe. Social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship training videos or any general business enquiries. Leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video. We're going to be ambitious. 200 likes is the aim and also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Lastly, this video is sponsored and it's brought to you by One Football. This video is brought to you by OneFootball. If you want to download the OneFootball app, all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description, which will take you forward to where you can download this app. The OneFootball app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me. It provides you with the latest footballing news, transfer news, and the latest videos as well. It is one source of information of where I get my transfer news from. It also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any Manchester City game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date thank you very much to one football for sponsoring this video the link is in the description uh, let's crack on with this loan report. So there's 38 players out on loan at Manchester City and in four reports over the international break, I cannot possibly cover all of these players because we would be looking at an average of between 9 and 10 players per report. And quite frankly, we're going to be here all day. So what I've done is I've divided it down into 16 players. That's four players per report who are either high profile players, uh, have been somewhere near the first team squad before whilst they've been at Manchester City or Quite frankly, it's just interesting to talk about. So today, we're going to be speaking about Morgan Rogers, Ben Knight, Claudio Gomez, and also Julian Alvarez. So we're going to start off first with Morgan Rogers. He's a 19-year-old English striker, and he has been out on loan at AFC Bournemouth in the Championship. Now, he was recalled from his loan earlier this month by Manchester City, and that was due to playing time. He's made 15 appearances, one goal, which doesn't sound too bad. However, he has started just 3% of all games in the Championship this season. He wasn't being used and Manchester City have recalled him. Now, I'm not too sure why Manchester City didn't recall him in January. He was heavily linked with being recalled and Man City were working to try and get it done and we never managed to get it done, but we have managed to get it done in March. I don't know whether it's taken a couple of months to get that sorted, to which case it was never going to happen for him to be loaned out or whether Manchester City were just hoping that he was going to get more playing time and they had assurances from Bournemouth. I'm not too sure, uh, but the sense that I'm getting is that he will be loaned out by Manchester City for next season. His contract doesn't expire until 2024 at Manchester City, so that would make the most logical sense. And it's very important now that City get that loan right uh, for next season and he does get the agreed playing time. That might mean him dropping down possibly to a team that might be near the bottom of the championship. It could mean him going abroad. He might even have to drop down into League One to be able to get regular playing time. We'll see. Morgan Rogers is a good player though and this loan doesn't represent just how good he can be. Now moving on, we're going to speak about Ben Knight. He's a 19-year-old English right winger. He joined Crew Alexandra in the summer on a season-long loan uh, and he's made six appearances and assisted one this season in League One. He started 11% of games so far this season. However, that is down to injuries. He's had regular injuries which have stalled his progress. It is desperately uh, unlucky. And I'm hoping that he can have a nice strong finish to the season. Keep himself fit and help crew. Now Ben Knight, highly rated by Manchester City. He's contracted until 2025. And I reckon it will be another loan for him again next season. Now moving on. 
Claudio Gomez, the French defensive midfielder. He's been out on loan at Barnsley since the summer. He's played 27 times in the championship, assisting one goal, starting over 70% of games. The regular game time will do him the world of good. Now, Barnsley have struggled this season uh, and they are in danger of being relegated and I'm hoping that Claudio can help them to stay up this season and achieve their goals. Claudio's contracted at Manchester City until 2023. That means he does have another season left on his contract. And it does mean that Manchester City may be tempted to sell him this summer. They could give him a new contract as well. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, and more than likely, he will head out on loan again next season. And City could let his contract run down. And if that is the case, then he would be released by Manchester City next summer. He is only 21 years old, though. Uh, and so... City will want him to start kicking on with his career, so I would say it's a big summer coming up for Claudio Gomez and his future at Manchester City. Now moving on to the final player, Julian Alvarez. I haven't been this excited about a young player signing for Manchester City in a long, long time. 22-year-old Argentine striker. He's currently out on loan at River Plate in Argentina, the club that we signed him from back in January for over 50 million pounds. spent nearly 20 million pounds to make this signing happen. Now the new season has already started in Argentina. He's already made six appearances so far in the league and he has scored four goals and not got any assists as of yet and I'm sure them stats will continue to rise for him. Uh, now the situation is, is that River Plate want to keep hold of Alvarez for the first stages of the Copa Libertadores uh, and then he would join up with Manchester Manchester City uh, in the summer but if River Plate do progress to the next stages then Alvarez is going to stay with River Plate until the end of their season which falls in December. Manchester City do have the option should River Plate progress in the Copa Libertadores where they can bring Alvarez still in in the summer if City decide to do that but we will have to pay an additional fee on what we have already paid which I have heard uh, is somewhere between 1 and 2 million euros. That's not normally how Manchester City work and I don't see Manchester City doing that but his progress is going to be very interesting to monitor over the summer uh, as we head in towards the winter if indeed he does stay at River Plate. At the moment he's already started 86% of their games at River Plate. Alvarez last season started 35 games last season, assisting 12, scoring 20. That's 32 goal contributions in 35 games, which is why Manchester City have brought Alvarez in. The big question now is when will it be? It could be sooner rather than later for the summer. If not, we may have to wait until until the very end of the year, possibly into January of 2023, before we actually do get to see Alvarez in a Manchester City shirt. And I can't wait to monitor his progress and see just how well he does for River Plate in Argentina. So there we go. That's been loan report number one. We do have three more loan reports coming out over the coming days, over the international break for you guys to enjoy. So if you haven't already and you are enjoying the content, then do subscribe. 25k subscribers is the aim. We're closing in now on 23,000 subscribers, less than 500 subs away, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget as well, social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video like goal 200 likes if you could hit that that would be brilliant also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you've made of these players performances out on loan let me know your thoughts morgan rogers ben knight claudio gomez julian alvarez what are your thoughts and lastly a big shout out to today's video sponsor one football link in the description if you want to go and check them out and stay up to date with all the latest football news transfer news as well as the latest scores results statistics live league tables and all your good footballing needs it's a free app to download and downloading one football through my link at the top of my description does help to support the future content created here on my channel if you haven't got it already you are missing out and i'll see you all again very soon for manchester city loan report number two for the 2021 2022 season so i'll see you then in a couple of days so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>